Hi, I'm Ellen Jaffe Jones, the author of Eat Vegan on $4 a day. I'm also a certified personal trainer, certified running coach, and I have placed in my age group 52 times since 2006. I did my first marathon in 2010, was the fifth oldest female to finish, and I am third in the state in Florida uh, in the 200, 400, and 1500 meters, as well as fourth in state in the 100 meters. My 100 meter times are six seconds slower than NCAA personal records listed in the University of Southern California 2012 media guide. I know this because my daughter was a pole vaulter on the team and her coach gave me the media guide and I started looking through it and looking at the personal records of the girls in the 100 meters and some of the other sprint races and thought, wow, I wish the Title IX had been around when I was in college because the only choices we had were home economics and field hockey. So obviously now I am making up for lost time, but it is so much fun and I encourage you to get out there and try some of this because it is all about having fun and also it's about staying healthy for the grandkids because my parents were so sick and diseased by the time I had kids, they couldn't lift them, let alone babysit them. So I have been showing you a series of warm-up exercises, dynamic warm-up exercises that I do every time before I engage on an exercise uh, routine that will include either a race or just a training run. And of course, I'm not a doctor. Um, and I would encourage you, of course, always to get checked out by your doctor before you start a new running or walking or exercise program. But a lot of people have asked me, what do you do to do all this? And I don't do these videos to brag or boast, but I want to inspire and encourage you to either begin or continue whatever exercise program is working for you because this is the best secret in America. Running and a vegan diet, oh my goodness, it really is just totally amazing. And uh, for one thing, it keeps, I believe, uh, inflammation in the joints at bay, otherwise known as arthritis, and even the Arthritis Foundation uh, has said quite publicly, if you want to cut down inflammation, try and eliminate the meat. So we have shown you a series of exercises to get to this point. This is after you've done a 20 minute warm up of running or walking just to get blood flowing into the muscles that you're going to be using for the main part of your activity of the day, whether it's training or a race, whatever. So we first showed you walking on your tiptoes and you are welcome to review the previous videos that I have done about this and then walking on your heels. And it's important to do all these exercises in sequence. So then walking uh, duck toed, I'm sorry, pigeon toed, that was pigeon toed, and then duck toed. So your toes are first gonna be pointed in and then your toes are going to be pointed out. And just keeping your arms down by your side. And then we showed you uh, skipping with arm circles, big circles first, and then reversing. And then we showed you skipping with small circles, and then reversing. And then we showed you hug the world. And then we showed you up high and down low, doing all of these skipping. And then, if I don't pull the camera over with my microphone because the wireless microphone wasn't working today. We are going to be doing knees, trying to touch the elbows with your arms in a T position. And let's see. Um, then we showed you lunges. So you can either do a lunge with your hands on your hips or you can do it in this position. And when you do these, you want to make sure that your knee goes no further than the edge of your big toe. You should always be able to see your toes, your big toe in particular. And then we showed you lunges with a twist, first to the outside and then to the inside. So lunging, twisting from the waist, keeping the core nice and firm and solid and this really beautiful upright position. This really fires up your core muscles for all kinds of activities, not only running and walking, but just the functions of everyday life, the activities of everyday life. All right, so we've showed you the lunges, and then the next thing we're gonna do is picking blueberries. So you're gonna take three steps, one, two, three, lean from the waist with a straight back, keeping your extended foot flexed and try and gather up blueberries or whatever from the ground, the floor. And then you take three more steps. 
So you will flex that opposite leg and toe. Toes are reaching up and then you grab toward the blueberries or whatever it is. And you should just have a nice straight back and you'll feel this stretch all the way down the back of your leg. And you don't have to be heroic and overdo this one because some of us who are more flexible than others, you know, it's like yoga class. Oh, I'm more flexible than the lady next to me. No, 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 no. You just listen to your own body, respect your body's limits and do whatever is comfortable for you. So those are the two additional exercises we're adding for today. Incorporate these in this order as best you can to whatever your warm-up routine is, whatever works for you. This is what's worked for you. I mean, it works for me, and I hope it is helpful for you. I'm Ellen Jaffe-Jones. I gotta run.